Early photographs show Mohandas Gandhi as an ambulance driver during the Boer War. It was here in Africa that the ex-lawyer developed the philosophy he was to spread throughout his beloved India. To this alien-dominated land, split by frictions between 30 million Muslims and 300 million Hindus, a land separated by hundreds of different dialects, Gandhi taught a gospel of brotherhood. Love, he said to his countrymen and to his enemies, we will meet tyranny with non-violent disobedience. Gandhi's love was manifest in his everyday life, confounding cynics and confusing the despots of the world. Born in 1869 of a high caste Hindu family, Gandhi renounced his position to walk among India's forsaken untouchables. He put his hands to the great task of making moral theories into living realities. On one of his trips to England, the camera catches the pure, sweet joy of a little disciple. In England, to carry on his pilgrimage for India's independence, the frail little man, who was so often jailed for civil disobedience, again faced the mighty British line. Englishmen were uncomfortably aware of Gandhi's frequent imprisonments by colonial authorities. This mistreatment of the saintly man was in conflict with Britain's traditional principle of fair play. For this and other reasons, she was now prepared to make Gandhi's great dream of an independent homeland come true. The offered partition plan, however, meant a nation divided between Muslims and Hindus. Gandhi held to his faith that the bond of brotherhood could only be obtained in a united homeland. Hindus rejected partition, but Muslims fearing a unified India would place them under Hindu domination demanded a separate state. Bloody riots broke out in India. Thousands were slaughtered. Gandhi, protecting the Muslims, drew the wrath of Hindu extremists. And in New Delhi on January 30th, 1948, the action of a single Hindu fanatic evoked this forlorn comment from India's Prime Minister Nehru. The light has gone out of our lives, and there is dark everywhere. And I do not quite know what to tell you and how to say it. Our beloved leader is no more. Today, India is independent, as is Pakistan. Twin monuments to the dedication and zeal of saintly Mohandas Gandhi.